I've talked with uh, uh, a lot of CIOs and, and a former colleague, Michael Earle, who I was with at London Business School in Oxford, has done a lot of research on that over the years and we've talked a lot. And so I think if you're going to be a CIO, there's no way you can do it without having some technical background. Right? Now, I'm not saying you have to be an engineer or a computer scientist, but you need to have some background. So if you're thinking about you know, how a, a person who will become a CEO does two years in marketing, two years in finance and production, and then they do a stint in IT, that really typically doesn't work well because the state of the, of the evolution of IT, it still requires some specialist knowledge. Now, that said, the best CIOs, I, I think it's half business skills, half technical skills, plus communication. The ability to talk to technical people about business issues, the ability to talk to business people about technical issues so that you have respect from both sides. That's the ideal CIO. Right now, I see a lot of experimentation. I see some companies where the role is becoming fragmented. So I see a CIO, I see a CTO, right? I see someone who's much more concerned with the technology and really understanding what's leading edge tools, practices, et cetera. And then I see a CIO who's maybe more concerned with the, the I, right? The information resource, who's more concerned with the, the integration with the business, right? So, so you see some, this bifurcation between technical and application is happening. In other companies, you see, I even see, I have seen companies where the CIO takes on an HR role because it's so integrated with people's career paths and things like that. Because, so I think increasingly as IT becomes more pervasive throughout a company, then the challenge is it's not a specialist role, right? Like a CFO, right? Finance is, uh, accounting is sort of a specialist tool set. But, but increasingly, technology is becoming ubiquitous. So therefore, how do you manage a role that's ubiquitous, right? And so I don't think anyone knows. I think what increasingly what will happen is you will have the CIO label, but the skill set will be very different, right? So, so you can say, yes, I'm a CIO. But if you look at the people and the job they do, it's day and night. They're totally different. And I think that's increasingly what I see is the skill set, the roles and responsibilities, the day-to-day, -day, how they spend their time is radically different. So this, the term CIO is a huge masking effect. It really hides the divergence uh, uh, and the range of activities underway in companies. But I think that's indicative about how people use technology in companies. It's incredibly divergent.